Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. This video, I am going to be walking through a initial recruiter call. So I have one scheduled for today. We're gonna talk about what I look for in a company, the website, the recruiter, we're going to talk about how I prepare before, what I do after, and we'll start that pro process in the next videos I make will be a continuation of the job search process. So give this video a like if it was helpful and I'll see you at the end of the video. Yeah, so I have been um, primarily back an engineer for the past six years now and a lot of experience has been PHP Laravel. Actually, all of that experience was PHP Laravel. Uh, my current position, um, APIs, as well as third-party applications that they work with, depending on where it's located, yes. Um, I think for me it's just the company culture and like team culture is probably the most important. Um, work, where I work at now, I really enjoyed the group of people I worked with. Um, we were kind of all on the same mission of like supporting the client and, you know, kind of doing whatever it takes to make sure the application keeps running and keeping people happy. So I'd like to stay in that kind of atmosphere. Okay. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. Take care. Had a recruiter call. I think I mentioned this earlier, but working with third party recruiters that are not a part of the company is kind of a little frustrating you know and they don't have much insight about what actually goes on there so that's something so essentially this opportunity seems pretty cool in general what i do for any job any job that i find out about i create a new role for that job in notion and essentially in this new role i try to put any information in there as much information as I can get from the employer or recruiter or whoever it may be. This time, um, the kind of takeaways that I got from this call, it was a very quick call, um, some backstory. She didn't really know much about um, the company in general, but she was planning to have a call with them in like later this afternoon and will circle back to me once she's had that call and um can give me more information but she said that she will send me over the company website as well as the job description so i could have a little bit of information to kind of figure out where where things are at so what i did get from the call was that it's on site um what i forgot to ask was are they ever going to go to like a could they be like a hybrid in the future or something like that? I forgot to ask that question. So, which is why it's important to have your questions down beforehand. I did not have my questions down beforehand. I was really in a rush and I think I missed her call earlier. I think she called like two minutes earlier and I'm like, girl, I am not ready. I'm over here texting over here. I got some stuff going on on that side and I, I'm not, I was doing too much. So I wasn't able to get like everything prepared before I was kind of doing it as I was talking. So definitely be prepared <laughs> next time. I gave her my salary requirements. I would prefer to start like 115 plus is what I told her. It's, she did mention it's a woman owned company, which I was like, yes, let's go. Um, I, I love to see that. She said she will update me on the interview process. So I'm assuming maybe I'm guessing this is like fresh, fresh because she doesn't even know when the interview is going to be or what the interview process is going to look like. And she said she was going to send me the link of the company. I asked her about like team size. I asked her about culture of the of the team, things like that. And it kind of told her where I was at, where um, what I was looking for in terms of like the culture and the morale of the company, of the team members. Um, so I don't know. We'll see if there's an update from her today. If anything, I should at least get the um, company website and um, we'll go over that information. I think that's all the information I have right now. So I will pop back in later with an update as far as information she sent to me and talk about the company and next steps. So we're going to go over the job description and talk about some like some of the, the highlights, the key points. Is this something I would move forward with, etc. So that's a bird. He was a little too close. Okay. All right. So this is a pretty cool role. 
it's in the um, aviation industry, which isn't, it's an industry I haven't worked in before. So I think that in itself is pretty cool. Um, they're looking for a PHP developer. Some of the things that stand out to me, I kind of just go over the high points for myself whenever I look at, look at these. Cross-functional teams, um, which basically means like being able to communicate with people across the board, which yes, can do. Um, write clean, well-documented and maintainable code. Absolutely, 100% yes. Um, thoroughly test and debug application applications manually and automated automated testing bug free releases I love to see it um, we do a lot of automated testing at my current position so I think I built a a, a, a knack for it to store manage data absolutely 100% know about that um, and I'm seeing that they know they're looking for someone um, with strong object-oriented programming principles, which tells me that I need to study up on any of those principles that I might not know much as the others. So if they ask about it, I'm able to regurgitate what it means and how I've used it in the past. And they're also looking for like Laravel Symphony or Yi. I have Laravel experience and uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, preferably jQuery. I've definitely used all three of those. The only thing I haven't done is like Tableau, and I think that's how you pronounce it, and Power BI, which it, I have not, but it's like, okay, that's a cool thing to be able to learn. So I'm excited about that. I like this as a whole. I think it's a pretty cool opportunity. The only thing is, is where it is. Um, if you're not from Dallas, the area that I live in is nowhere near where this job is located in. It would require me to move. Um, the, it's about like an hour away from here or so. Uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So it's not up the street. And they also want you to be in office. So it's kind of a bummer. But I understand this is an industry where it would make more sense to be in office. Whereas some other industries, you don't really need to be. But I understand why you would want to be. Overall, looks like a solid job. I've already told the recruiter to send me some more information when she gets it. So that I can prepare myself for what's next. It's a good pick and definitely something I'm interested in. So stay tuned.